Welcome to My Apple Zone. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a demonstration of the beta version of FaceTime for the Mac. And Dave from Geekanoids has been uh, kind enough to do a video conference with me to help do the demonstration. So I'm going to go ahead and ring Dave up real quickly here and uh, we'll get the demonstration going. So everybody, I'm doing a FaceTime uh, demonstration uh, with Dave from Geekanoids. Um, he's in the UK and I'm in the United States, so this is a this is a pretty cool demonstration of uh, of FaceTime. And Dave, how's it going? Yeah, hi, hi. It's going really well, really well. A little, he, little bit strange with the time difference, but uh, really nice to be speaking to you today. Yes, indeed. Um, so uh, it's about six hours time difference. Yes, yeah, yeah. We're just coming up to the evening in the UK now, and it's uh, we changed our clocks uh, yesterday, so we got an extra hour of daylight. So, how's the uh, weather in the UK today? Um, it was raining until about midday, and then we've got some uh, uh, nice weather for the afternoon. So we've got bright sunshine just for the the last few hours of the day. Great, great. So you've done these FaceTime videos with uh, other YouTube members. Can you talk about a couple of those? Yes, yeah. I mean, that, the, the, the main one really was uh, as soon as FaceTime was announced by Apple, uh, a lot of people scrambled to, to download the beta version, and I managed to catch a, a quick chat with uh, Mark from Soldiers Knows Best, who I'm sure you, you'll follow and, and a lot of your viewers will probably watch as well. Um, and then a good friend of mine, M. Kwan, from the MQAM project, uh, we did a, a good test doing some FaceTime from the Mac desktop to a mobile device to, to one of the iPhone 4s, and then he called me back and we tested it to an iPod Touch as well. Um, and you can catch that video on both my channel and, and MQAM's channel uh, if, if you're interested in having a look at that sort of how it in interacts cross platform. And it works really well. That's great. You know, I've tried to get Mark to do a FaceTime video with me, but I, I, I'm sure he gets a lot of email and he hasn't responded. So, Mark, if you're out there, I'll do a FaceTime video with you as well. <laughs> so, so Dave, you, how long? Go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say you, you just have to keep keep at it, and I'm, I'm sure you'll pin him down one one at one time to do a chat with you. I'm sure he will. He's a he's a good guy. I love his channel, and everybody. It's it's soldiers no, soldier knows best. It's that's his YouTube channel. Um, so, so Dave, how, how long ago did you get involved with YouTube and what was your motivation? Oh, wow. Well, it was uh, October 2006 was when I put my first video up. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about how, how that went in a short while. But, but basically, I, I was a, a graphic designer for, for many years, about 20 years. And um, uh, Using the Mac platform was just absolutely fantastic, and that's what really inspired me to, to really search out the best applications and the best um, sort of technology I could use in my job. That's what really started the interest off. Uh, I did some writing for a few websites. I did some um, uh, some articles for Mac NN uh, and also for CNET, and then I started up my own website, and I just felt that doing videos, and I'm sure you'll agree this, with this, is it's a lot, lot better to be able to show somebody a product rather than try and describe it in your own words. It just conveys a message a lot, a lot better than, than writing. And that's what really kicked things off. So I started doing videos on YouTube, uh, filming with a little um, compact camera uh, with a piece of cardboard underneath the gadget. <laughs> <laughs> And how things have changed since then, it's just sort of snowballed from, from there on, really. That, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I, uh, I think it's kind of amazing that we're able to have such a great video chat considering the distance. Uh, it's pretty, pretty incredible technology, and, and I know this is just a beta version, but so far it's looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's very good quality. Have you, have you used FaceTime a lot before... Uh, they released the desktop version. Did you use it on an iPhone or an iPod Touch, or was this sort of something that really spurred you into using it more? Yeah, I do a lot of traveling, and uh, when I'm in a hotel, it's great to be able to FaceTime with my wife. She's got an iPhone 4 as well, and so instead of just talking to her on the phone, I can uh, FaceTime back and forth, so that's that's pretty cool, and I've showed some friends uh, when I've been out of town, and, and they're pretty blown away when, when they, they can see a video conference going on between two phones. 
Um, yeah. I th- do you think they're ever going to open it up to other platforms? I don't know. Um, uh, you know, it, it would be nice for, you know, not just the iPhone, but for other phones to be able to do it as well. So you're not just restricted to doing a FaceTime call with an iPhone. It'd be cool to be able to call your other friends who have an Android phone uh, with FaceTime. So that would be, that's something to consider. Yeah. yeah. You've, been, you've had your channel now for up for how long? Uh, it's uh, four years. Four yeah, years? Four, yeah. And if you uh, had some tips for some YouTubers on, on what you've done to um, improve your channel and to get more subscribers, what, what would be a couple tips that you would suggest? I think um, there's, there's quite a few, probably too many to, to cover in this short chat. But yeah. I think the main ones are is to, just to sort of practice, practice presenting the videos. In my early videos, I was extremely nervous. I'm not a, not a great public speaker. Me too. Um, and yeah, yeah, and I think I when I was writing articles, it, it was a lot more anonymous, and I, I could hide behind the writing and be creative in the writing style. Um, but being on camera was really nerve-wracking for me to start off with. And I think if you give yourself time, I'm sure that uh, your presenting style and you'll relax more and just come across sort of better to, to whoever's viewing your videos. I think that's sort of the first tip, is just practice, practice, practice. Um, and, and the other thing that I always sort of live by is, is just to be honest. Um, I always take time out to sort of test the product properly. Um, and if there's something wrong with it, tell the people who are viewing the video in a, in a constructive way. Don't just say, you know, these bad swear words or anything like you see on some channels, but just just be very constructive about the product. Point out its bad points and obviously its good points. Um, and point number four is probably just keeping things uh, on schedule. I think if you can commit to doing a regular video, whether it's once a fortnight, uh, once every week, or like I, I do myself now, I put one up every single day, I think people like the fact that they can look out for your videos. And I think probably the last tip is just to communicate with people. I know a lot of people that email me and message me are quite surprised that they get a response back. Same here. Um, they, they do comment a lot that they contact other channels and they don't even get a response. So I think it's just take the time out really just to connect with people and, and share what you know. Yeah, I, I think I, I, your point about communication is probably one of the best. I try to answer every email that I get, and I notice you do that as well. And I think that's part of the reason why we're doing this video is is you've been so uh, good about communicating back and forth. Uh, and and I think that goes a long way for building your community is when you're when you're keep in touch with um, people who subscribe to your channel and leave comments, whether it's to a video or a direct message or a post on your uh, your channel I think that goes a long way to building your community and and I tr- it's hard as you know to respond to every single one of them but I think if you commit to it and spend some time doing it it really makes a big yeah. difference yeah definitely definitely I mean I, I, I probably get on average about I would say I would say 800 emails roughly on a daily basis oh my gosh even if it's just a one-liner that's all it takes just a one-liner and that's why some uh, just just a quick shout out to everyone who does email me, if you don't mind. If you get a one line response to me, it's just because of the actual bulk of emails that, that you have to deal with. But it doesn't take long just to fire something back, um, and, and you know, just stay in touch with your viewers. I mean, after all, without your viewers, the channel wouldn't exist. So, and the same goes for for your channel as well. I'm sure you appreciate. If it wasn't for people watching your videos, you wouldn't have the incentive to share. Uh, to share things with them, would you? Right, yeah. And Well, Dave, thanks for, for doing this demo. Uh, I think uh, the community will really uh, appreciate it. Uh, again, it, it goes to show you that you know keeping in touch with your uh, subscribers really goes a long way, and I, I really appreciate you doing the demo. Oh, no, it's been, it's been a pleasure. And, and just, just some feedback for you as well. I mean, I've been watching your videos for probably about six, seven months now, and I'm enjoying your content as well, so certainly... Keep in touch. Keep up the, the content that you're creating. It's uh, it's very valuable content, and I'm sure everyone appreciates what you do as well. Thanks. I appreciate it. I appreciate it.